so how are you going to schedule three hours of gate exam this is very important strategy there are two ways to take your gate exam for three hours so first i will discuss what was what used to be my approach and what is at approach advisable from my side okay so first listen this approach uh, you go to the general aptitude part there you will be having 10 questions right so start question wise take question one uh, if read the question solve the question so either you will be able to solve in one attempt and very confidently you know this is the answer or you will be kind of confused like no not sure i want to give one more attempt or you will think that no this is a really very tough question i will not solve this question okay so you took you read the question one and there itself you decided about the question uh, if you are getting the right answer then that's all go to the question number two otherwise on your rough paper you write down question one as easy question i told you in previous videos many times i have told you that follow my trick emt easy medium tough emt how will you make this in your rough page given by uh, those authorities you will be having some rough sheet so draw three draw two lines means three columns in one column you write e then m then t easy medium tough so suppose question one is done then done no problem if it is not done then in which category it will fall easy medium or tough as per your preparation because in the last moment when time will be remaining then the last moment suppose 20 minutes remaining 15 minutes remaining which question you are going to solve in that moment right so definitely questions who are uh, falling in tough category you will not touch those questions uh, questions of the easy category you are going to touch in the last moment so uh, now again again you understand uh, go for question one then do this then go for question two then do this question three do this this is the best strategy uh, in my view okay don't don't take my decision for granted but i am uh, taking this strategy uh, like granted for myself and for everyone whoever is believing in me blindly so you can follow this procedure so question one try done okay not done then decide emt and write down in the column then go to question two then again try done very good not done then decide easy medium or tough then go for question three question four question five i am trying to say that go pattern wise go serial wise one two three four five this is my way okay and highly advisable to more to my students and to all of you whoever is trusting in my videos now see another approach is this approach many people used to follow but i don't follow but again i am not saying that any other approach is bad approach okay but you can also follow this approach that approach is in the beginning itself spend some five minutes or ten minutes read entire question paper okay question one read question 2 read question 3 read question 4 read 5 6 7 8 but there are 65 questions so if you take one minute to read one question try to understand 65 questions are there i hope you understand because when you will read the question it's not like just you will read the question you will try to think little bit then i mean to say some students will be having this mindset that they will go through the entire question paper and they will try to judge paper how many questions are easier for them how many questions are really easy and what kind of paper is there okay but strictly i don't follow this this way but even in my time uh, some friends and uh, uh, even some of my students they have done these kind of things but i i say that don't follow this way because you will not solve any question and you will spend 15 minutes 20 minutes maybe half an hour to judge the question paper right so no need to do this follow this one step take question solve question take question solve question take question solve question because you are the only person there right you know you will be able to solve or not right that's all done okay very very important thing don't wrong don't solve wrong mcqs see msqs are having uh, no negative marking if you don't know the question don't leave the question okay attend the question your attempt is very important for msq also even though if you don't know okay now go for a nat question in nat question also some data you fill and come so i, I have taught you in uh, uh, during the lecture i have taught you okay one thing uh, many students are watching this video for the very first time 
so you should know my introduction my name is vikas kumar shrivastav i have qualified gate aerospace exam 6 times and i am running a dedicated coaching center for gate aerospace 2014 was my first batch for gate aerospace as a teacher and this is 2024 and uh, now 2025 2026 and onwards coaching is already running you guys can join or share this video to your friends and uh, junior seniors whoever is willing to prepare for gate aerospace for the upcoming years they can be from aero department or they can not be from aero department they can be from cs mechanical electrical or whatever okay civil and all if you have interest in gate aerospace you can immediately contact me for the upcoming years 6380135260 is my whatsapp number don't call me directly just give me text message on whatsapp otherwise i will not take your call because many students they call me and i don't uh, take the call because uh, just give me text message there i will chat now come to this point don't solve don't leave mcq question and nat question okay mcq questions are having no negative marking nat questions are having no negative marking so i was saying some nat questions will be there you will not be able to solve right but i have taught for example if they are asking some some question is there and they are asking efficiency and you don't know how to solve that then you can cheat the question i am not saying that uh, because, because i am forcing you to put some value some value you have to drop there okay some answer you have to drop but suppose the question is based on the efficiency of turbine i have given you a data right that uh, compressor efficiency used to fall in this category and uh, turbine efficiency used to fall in this category so from that pick any efficiency data and write down that's all nat question done i am not saying this is going to be correct i am saying that you will be close to the correct answer maybe this answer is completely wrong but i am saying don't leave nat question and one more thing you write down one more page on that page you write down how many questions are done by you in full sense completely no bluff that they can be for 30 marks they can be for 40 marks 20 marks 45 marks 50 marks 60 marks other than that some students will be there they will bluff for sure they will bluff bluff means okay i don't know i will qualify or not okay tick 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 so you write down one side that how many questions Uh, you have attempted for how many marks because many students they don't know that how many marks they have attempted and why it is important to know in the beginning itself because from now onwards till your gate ex- uh, till your gate result there are so many decisions you can take based on this strategy okay if you know how many marks you have attempted correctly and how many marks you are because you have to be very decisive about this how many marks are correct how many marks are wrong wrong means bluff if you are attempting any any bluff okay so make sure that in the last you should count quickly but but it will take time so you make two pages one page for emt trick and one page for marking scheme okay keep keep down like two marks one marks two marks one marks and side by side you also write that okay i am attempting mcq so, so you write like this i am attempting mcq number 3 you write 3 mcq one mark just like this 3 means question 3 mcq one mark so that you will come to know that okay there is chance of negative marking of point 3 because of this msq there is chance so when you will come back then we can discuss that uh, you have corrected you have attempted this much perfectly correct these many bluff so based on that we can have post gate guidance properly i can guide you what to prepare now you are going to iit bombay or iit madras something like this i hope you are understanding my point so watch this video again and all the valuable items tomorrow you have to use in your exam so i will suggest you follow that question 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 this way right don't follow that okay in the beginning itself you will judge that okay uh, this pattern will be fine like in the beginning itself i want to judge the question paper no no follow that eft trick and one more thing if some students like of my coaching center if if uh, you you don't know if you have not practiced in this way still to, tomorrow is 9th uh, so many uh, full length test series many of the students they have not touched yet okay so at least uh, uh, try uh, this method for one test series a uh, full length test series okay just do this so best of luck again and uh, be very happy this gate aero space is going to change your life i'm damn sure best of luck to all of you my coaching center students also and students who are watching my videos and they are trusting in my methods best of luck all of you